Good morning, YouTube. Today we will be checking out my Fortress in the Plains biome. This took me a little over 30 days in game to build. Uh, 32 or 33, I believe. Something like that. Alright, now, don't judge the budget gate. It is quite efficient. The only enemies i found that can jump so far are the blobs, and they're nowhere around here. So no one's gotten up here to beat their way in. And I do have this fully spiked off all the way around also. Um, it's not always as efficient. Sometimes I do have to get down there and give a couple pokes to whatever's stuck. So I need to improve on that yet. Yeah. Alright, let's go on ahead and head in. Just entering the main courtyard here. You'll see the main compound over on the right. With a little stone cutter hidden back in the corner. Let's take a quick loop around side before we head in. As far as farming goes, behind my locks there, there's some flax. Just a small field. Barley field back here. And this was the original locks pen. I had it stonewalled too high. Until he decided to piggyback on his back and hop right over the top. After he got out, I just kind of changed it to this, thinking the other one would find his way out, but he hasn't yet. I kind of thought that they might self-feed on this as well, but they haven't, which sucks. They also haven't bred yet either. This place was just a little shed in the pen back when I first got them, and they've probably been tamed now for at least 45 or 50 days, so I expected something. But this isn't a lox farming video, so moving on. Got a little storehouse set up over here. Pretty simple, but it's pretty neat and clean. I like it. I've hardly really utilized it yet though, honestly, because I still have so much space and storage inside the main compound. And heading next door, I've got the smithy set up over here, with the charcoal kilns outside. Still pretty simple, but it's got everything you need in it. One of the first things you probably noticed in the little flyover would be this lookout tower over here. And this was actually my first spiral staircase. After I finished this, I went back to the gathering hall and replaced the staircase in that with a spiral stairwell. Saves a lot of space. But it does also take some time. We're almost there. This was actually as tall as I could get the tower from the base that I had set for it, I guess. I probably could have planted a tree at the bottom of it and went higher still. I kind of experimented with that in the main compound, as you'll see. Finally up top. And I do actually keep arrows up here, but this really isn't the best vantage point for home defense. This is more or less a spot to just come up and enjoy the view. couple windmills. Don't even really feel like I need to point those out. Kind of hard to miss them. I did actually have a death mosquito fly into one of these the other day and it blew up. It was awesome. So I guess if you've got a death mosquito problem at your base, set up more windmills. Okay, it's time to head into the main compound here. And as you step inside, you're welcomed into what is basically the main lobby. Here's that tree that I mentioned experimenting with. And I initially planted it just to be the center for a staircase, that way it would provide support all the way up. It was pretty hard to keep the staircase wrapped tight all the way around it up though. Taking a step back though, we have an armory over this way, a couple of boss heads hanging up on the wall. Making our way through here, we'll end up in the kitchen back here on the corner. A little brewery in the opposing corner here, kind of coincides with the kitchen. And I decided to do something a little bit different with this corner over here little secret hidden door to a hidden vault. It's kind of holding some gold in there right now as a joke. But you can't really tell if this is on the outside, so I thought that was pretty sweet. And that's basically it for the first floor. Let's make our way up to floor number two. And I know this is a little ghetto of a transition right here, but you know what? It works. Just a pretty simple workshop over there in the corner for now. This floor is pretty basic. There's two shops up here. Shop number one just over there in the open. Number two back here. This one's a little bit better. Added the artesian table in, even though you can't really use it yet. It's there whenever that update does drop. Going to head up to the third floor here. This is the bedrooms. Four in total. Two down here and two up top. I usually take one of the beds up top. And both of these top beds up here have a little viewport that overlooks the side. This view's not as nice as the next, but still kind of cool. And this one overlooks the front door. That's why I normally crash right here. And even though this is more of a bedroom type area, it's also kind of like a lodge, so I wanted to keep it pretty open. All the windows and everything. No lodge is complete without a couple heads in the wall, so why not some boss heads? If I can actually get that other locks back in here, this view will be a little better. And I added a little bar in the corner back here. Got one more door though. This just takes us out to this little deck or patio. It doesn't wrap around all the way, but Ooh, okay, that's a new spot to get stuck. Can I do it again? Sure can. Okay, there must be a little difference between the little one-by-one -one wood floor 
from the stone. Mm -hmm. I could fix that if I just added down more wood floor, but I kind of like that contrast between wood and stone. And like I said earlier, initially I planned on running one staircase all the way up this tree. I hadn't fully given up yet, but I've gotten sidetracked. It was not easy, especially with the diameter of the tree changing as it goes. There's just no real way to, at least from what I can tell, match to the tree uniformly the entire way up. Through that fly around video, you probably noticed that there was already a platform up on the roof, and that's what I'm trying to connect to this tree too. And there you have it, Sam and Lesphere's Plain Biome Fortress. I've already started working on a treehouse in the swamp that I hope to have up here on YouTube for you guys within the next couple of days. I'm actually rebuilding my computer this weekend though, retiring my welfare processor. So Monday I'm planning on coming back with some higher quality videos. But for now, hopefully this video gives everyone who watches it some ideas and inspiration for some bases of their own. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and let me know. And subscribe so you can catch more videos. Later.